Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Friday, May the 25th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, today we're going to talk about the NFL. You know, it's about four months, five months away from the football season, but the NFL is on the front pages uh, because of a new policy that apparently they're going to implement next season. I'm sure all of you remember the controversy last season with the flag and the national anthem and players kneeling during the national anthem and so on and so on. It became a real business disaster for the NFL. The ratings were down. Uh, they, they took a beating. There's no other way to, to say it. And I think the owners understand that. They obviously are in business to make money, and they understand that a lot of the fans did not go for that type of behavior on the part of players. So they've come up, they've come up with this, I guess, compromise or solution to the problem. They're going to issue a penalty, I guess, to the players who don't kneel or don't salute the flag. And then they're also going to give the players the option of staying in the clubhouse when the national anthem or the pregame uh, fest festivities uh, are happening. Look, I think this is a sign of weakness on the part of the owners. I'm frankly not very impressed. Number one, they're the owners. They're the boss. They own the team. They're the ones who sign the paychecks, or at least are responsible that the check clears uh, the bank. So these guys have a lot invested in the teams, not just money, but the value of their team is to a large degree uh, a brand, you know, something that they have to protect. Look at the way that Jerry Jones of the Cowboys will go out of its way to protect the brand of, of the Dallas Cowboys. So the owners are the ones who should be telling the players what to do. And what to do means you stand up and you salute the flag during the pregame. Now, for a lot of people like me, I find that to be uh, a good moment when everybody in the stadium rises and the teams are lined up and you're saluting the flag. I consider that to be a moment of respect. And I think that it's a moment of respect, not just for the flag, but also for many of the veterans who are in the game that day, watching the game, for the police officers who are there protecting the players uh, in many ways. So for me, it's a great moment. It's a great moment of tradition. And I like uh, that moment uh, a great deal. But I think the owners are missing a, a larger point, and that is that we don't want to see politics in our game. You know, we don't want politics in our face, as we saw with ESPN. ESPN is having all kinds of problems. And as we saw in, in the case of many players who decided that they were going to put their politics on the baseball field or the football field, football field. It didn't happen in baseball, but on the football field. And that, I think, uh, was a disaster for the league. So my message to the, owners is, to the owners is to get tougher and simply say, look, you play on my team. I'm the one paying your salary. You work for me. And these are the rules. And if you don't obey the rules, you're not going to be on the team. I mean, that's the way it works in just about every business. And why it doesn't work that way in the NFL, it used to work that way in the NFL. I don't know what happened uh, to the owners. But that's the way it needs to be. I mean, the fact is that the fans pay to see the game. They don't pay to hear politics. They don't want political demonstrations during the game. And that's the way it should be. And I hope the owners get tough. They get tough. And if they have to bench a player or kick them off the team, that's fine. That's fine with me. Again, it's a business. And there's a contract. And that's the way it should be. Well, have a great uh, Friday, all of you. I think it's going to rain here in North Texas uh, probably quite a bit. Uh, if you're having a birthday today, happy birthday. And we have all of these videos over at YouTube. We have it on Twitter and we have them on my blog as well. Bye-bye, everybody, and make sure you got your umbrella because it's raining in North Texas today. Bye-bye.